All right, welcome, welcome, everybody, back to another episode of Let's Try It Out. Today we're trying out Stolen Realm. My name is Zbag, and today we're going to be playing a tactical action RPG, um, which is basically a dungeon crawler looter with the um, tactical combat system, and it also has elements of an action RPG, mainly in the realm of like the dungeon crawling loot system and you know quests and skill trees and stuff like that within the um, action RPG of th side of things, but mainly it is a uh, tactical. Uh, combat system where as you can see here in the main screen it gives you the tiles to move around and where you can build up squads of six uh, either single player and locally or, or multiplayer co-op is implanted so you can have up to six party members running around controlling each of their characters within the party or you can do it solo one character to all the way up to six which sounds pretty interesting i'm actually excited about that so i'm gonna go ahead and jump in here and get this going um if you're gonna you know want to hang out and stick around i greatly appreciate it so i'll be right back all right here we are let's go ahead we're gonna do single player and we will jump into this. Now this has the low polygon graphic art style. And I do kind of like that art style myself. Always a big fan of it. Um, let's see. The warrior character presets. Select a character preset that best suits a strong point for the character you want to make. Alright, so then we can either do that. Allocate stat points by pressing the minus and the plus buttons next to each stat. How rather over how, how hover over stat labels to examine how they affect your character. Cool. All right, and then we got the attributes, so we can do that. So we can spend some points, plus minus. All right, so we can do this. You know, we can take things away. We can take everything away and actually spend them as we see fit. You know, kind of create our own little character rather than a preset. Um, then we can change our skills. Oh, awesome. So we can actually kind of get in here and start messing around with certain skills. Overlapping, combining, ranger, warrior, cold, lightning, fire, shadow, thief. So we can possibly mix and match. And that was something I was looking into it as well. It does have the ability to pick certain skills for different skill trees. So you can do a set build or a hybrid build or class i should say um we'll close that i think that's it click next button all right so cool now let's see the stats we have to define what we are so we're gonna do a warrior i guess um and i'm going to deduct everything here and i do want to build out my own character but i'm gonna start with the skills first let's decide on what we want to do we could make a warrior is my base passive active how many skill points do we have three now we could do some interesting things here we can go to shadow route a thief route ranger route light we can make like a healing warrior like a paladin we can make like a shadow knight or you know maybe even make like a battle mage type thing you got ranger thieves and stuff like that too um let's see what does shadow do raise skeleton archer oh my okay so oh wow <laughs> right off the bat you're already tugging my heartstrings man <laughs> summon a skeleton archer to fight by your side wow so we can already make like a death knight class cool um complete next the day next tank lasts until you hit ghost armor we got tainted touch uh, blind, not bad. And this is passive, right? Deal 20% potential damage. Enemies below 50% health. And then we got Necromancy summons. Deal 10% more damage. Interesting. So we can do a little Death Knight class. We might go. We might go that route. Um. Then obviously this is probably some healing stuff. Yeah. And then we got cold stuff. Cold spells. Pretty explanatory there. Um. So I think I'm gonna go to the Y. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make a Death Knight. We're gonna do that. Um. What do I want to learn for this though? Fracture, deal 14 to 19 weapon damage, uh, rage, increased damage dealt, and max life by 15%, increased damage received by 15%. Uh, is this a, yeah, these are skills. Um, double edge, deals 30, 
5 to 48 weapon damage to the target and 15% of the damage back to you. Ew. Um, okay, so we got Wander. Movement speed increases effectiveness of damage and healing skills. The Glaring Guardian increases physical resistance. And uh, for every enemy with in one hex of you, character gains 2% all. Okay, so let's do Fracture. Lowers the target's physical resistance by 20% for one turn. Boom. Requires two points in previous tiers. Oh, okay. Now I could do Rage. I can go Rage, which increases my damage and Hell by 15%. Increases damage received, though. Not bad. I could do the Guardian. Physical resistance is by 5%. Let me get a little more tankier. Um, we definitely want to go this route. Um, now we can do Curse, Haunt, Spectral Chains, Troubled Minds. There are Ray Skeleton Warriors, so there's that. So yeah, we would want to get something like that too. Oh, that's so cool. Um, consumption, Soul Fracture, Soul Link, Exorcism. Hmm. All right, so we can deal 20% additional damage to enemies below 50% health. I think we'll go that route. I think we'll do that. So we'll be able to well on them. We have our archer chilling behind us, shooting them. Pew, pew, pew. And then we'll be able to, once we get them down below 50% health, we'll be able to just uh, clear them out. So I'm pretty excited with that. Okay, now, does this affect what each thing does? Like, does it tell me what 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 is going to do okay um other than like this attributes i mean so we got the skills so now my attributes so i obviously increases the effectiveness of damage and healing skills increases the chance of effectiveness of critical strikes increases maximum health and uh, maximum mana effective per point and recovery increases health and mana recovery per turn as well okay um we got 10 points i'm gonna do Two for might for more damage, um, vitality for health, intelligence, um, and then I'll do. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We want recovery would be nice, not too bad. So I'm gonna do one, 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 one. Um, let's minus that. Let's give me a little bit more health, just to be a little bit more tankier, because I am gonna be in the front line, and eventually I'll have my summons up there helping me. But right now I feel like early game I'm gonna need to be able to take bulk of the damage, especially if I'm gonna have an archer. Granted, I don't know my other party members are gonna be. I don't know if that's something I create as well. Um, that is a thing. So I, I will have up to six. So I don't know if that's six. Like, if, do I make six right off the bat, or is this something that um we build up over time? So I don't know. We'll find out. All right, let's go something simple. eBay. All right, we'll do a gender. And let's see. We'll go like that. Hairstyle. Ah, that's a too bad here. Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Hmm, like that. Let's go with that. Head type. Uh huh, uh huh. I'm like, I'm okay with that. And there's something. Eyebrows. Let's do the double slash with the no scar over the nose. Um, hair color, we'll do a brown, or us eye color. Let's do like a blue. Nice ice blue. Um, hair, facial hair. Let's get the uh, beard going. That's looking good there. Body art uh, color. Oh, let's do that. Let's do, I think a little purple. Like the inside. Oh, that's what we bleed. Purple. Haha, <laughs> no, let's do blue. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. That looks good now. Select starting weapon. Yeah, we'll do short short sword. Oh, we can make them all up front. So to add a character to the party, first select the character tile, then click add. Okay, cool. So we can make multiple our entire party up front. So all right, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this part. At least you got kind of the idea of what the uh, creator looks like. I'm making my main character is a death knight where we can summon some skeletons and take some damage. So that's what he, his role is. So I'm thinking we build out the rest of our party and I'll jump back in here once we do and kind of go over what each one is. All right, here we go. Boom, we're back into it. This is our party of six right now. We have... Ebay, me, the Death Knight, Lobo, and Nima are my uh, archers. Basically, they're going to have some poison arrows um, and ability to cripple. So they're going to be basically hitting from a distance and crippling and uh, controlling. They're going to be for CCing, basically, and doing stacking poison damage. Uh, so that way they can, you know, 
Reduce the enemy down towards to be held slowly. Then we got Bruce, uh, which is my healer. He's going to be strictly designed to heal everybody in the party and keep them all alive. Then we have Felina, who, who she is. a I believe she was, yeah, she's the battle mage. I made her into a battle mage. She'll have a frost battle mage. So she'll have the ability to fight and uh, have a combat uh, uh, up front, but also be able to enchant weapons with cold weapon, cold damage, uh, and then be able to do some frost damage up front as well. And then we have my paladin here. Strictly meant to be more of a tank, but can do some healing as well. He'll be up in close personal, so I give him healing touch. So whenever he's around somebody, he can just reach over and give him a little tap of heal. <laughs> All right, let's go. Set party. See how this does. I really don't know. I'm really not sure. But we're about to find out. Oh, so this must be the starting hub. Move up and click on the portal to activate it. All right, so this is our little hub. Pretty sure this is where we go and buy some things, sell some things, upgrade some stuff as typical, you know. So let's go up here and see what's going on. Unexpected guess. Ah, the adopted trader. We found you at last. In battle, moving your character costs movement points. Click on the hex to use your movement points to go there. Cool. So this is my archer, which... Ooh, we just moved there. Didn't want to do that, but okay. Um, so we can then do my stuff here. So this is what I have down here. Poison weapon. We can do that on... Can we do that? Well, that sucks. But I think poison weapon's only close range. Oh, bummer, it is. Okay, that's that's going to change some things here. Wait, no. How do I attack? doesn't want me to, just in turn. Okay. <laughs> All right, fine. Um, So, summon. I want to summon you. How do we... S click, click, click. Now we got an archer. Boom. Oh, nice. Straight up just did his thing. So now we can move... Boom, boom, boom. Cool, cool, cool. Now what? Do we have to end turn? Can we attack? We can. Boom, we got him. Well, oh, that does take mana. Okay. So it does take mana to use their skills. Makes sense. So we need to be cautious about that. Who's moving? Lobo? Who's Lobo? Where are you at? Um, This one? All right, so how do I do this? Click you. Uh-huh. I guess I can only... I can't do it. Well, that's a bummer. Oh, man. I guess... Did it say melee weapons? No, it doesn't say. Oh, there it is. I should have saw it. saw it. Range self. Oh, man. Okay, that's going to be kind of pointless now. So we might have goofed up. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's going to be all right if they're close and up and personal. We can stab them. I really thought it was going to do poison weapon or just apply it to any weapon. Oh, man. Ranged or not. I didn't see that. Range self. That means within one tile, I'm assuming. Right? Or no. Is it a buff? It's a buff. Oh, dang, yo. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, can we attack again? We can't. Now poison's applied. So he has that for three turns, it looks like. Three turns or three arrows? Don't know. So how... We can just keep going. He's marked... Okay, so yeah, okay, we can keep going. We can use all our skills at once, as long as we have the mana. And we recover it based on not enough action points. Now we're done. Okay, so... Okay, we're good. Maybe it wasn't the mana, it was the action points. Where was the action points? You pay attention to that. Right here? Like, how many, how do I, how do I know? Do I have to, I have to go in order, right? Or can I go in any order? I can go in any order. 
so you already went. So now we can go with you. There's this green thing here. I'm assuming that's what it is. Uh, okay, so let's go up here, and we could probably go ahead and kill him. Who is this? This is the healer. Bruce is my healer, I think. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's give him some armor. Um, we don't really need to do any of that yet, so we're still pretty good. I guess I could just contribute with a little blast. <laughs> Fireball! Dead! Oh, look at him, the ragdoll! Okay, cool. Um, Leech is the paladin, so we can go ahead and get up there in person. We don't have enough space to get up there, and the movement is not so much. Alright, and then you can also do some stuff. So we could do enchant, so this is a... We can add some, um... So now he has frost and poison. Oh man, that's cool. Can we reach this person? Doesn't look like it. All right. So we'll just get closer then. And uh, now we should be able to do that. Ha! Boom. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So you're determined to throw your life away for a few elves, Watcher. Leave us, Roland. Hmm. I can help you. I can't help hide this time. You can't hide this time. Who's hiding? I'm not hiding. I can give you power you need. Super power, fate applied. Wow, we got super buffed. All right, so cool. Now this is a fixed camera, so we can't really move around. We can only see based on position we are in. So let's go ahead and get up. Let's see, let's, I need you. So let's go ahead and summon you over there. And is that the cooldown? Yeah, four. Cool. He shot at somebody. I don't know who. Where is... Okay, so we can do... Let's see. Where is my... So range is up to eight. All right. Let's give you some frost weapon. Shoot, you're out of range. Everybody's out of range. Okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let's give you the, that, and then we'll go ahead and buff you up. Let's mark this dude. Let's cripple him. Attack him again. That should be good there. Boom. All right, you're up next. Let's mark you. Give you some poison. Let's cripple. Oh. <laughs> oh, we are definitely powerful. Yeah, this is just a, pretty much a guaranteed win is what this is. Boom. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Man. They can't move very well. Armor up. Oh, okay, so I can keep going until this little circle right here down at the screen. Right where my skills are, skills are. Once that's uh, not green anymore, we're done. So they, they're done, they're done, they're done. I can still go with uh, Leech, which is fine. He, she can be up front, so we can not really do much. So I got one little move. I can't do anything. Okay. Um, boop, boop. Rapture. Interesting. Okay, I gotta get close. Bam! I need you to kind of get away. Okay. 
was hoping they wouldn't attack if I was trying to break combat. Which they don't. We, we go flying. The big old orc goes flying. And then we'll finish this dude up. Bam! Go join him. <laughs> that slow-mo ragdoll is pretty cool. Oh, wow. Um, All right. I don't know what he said. So we're basically proving ourselves to this old dude. But you're not yet convinced. I mean, with that kind of power, I believe I am. I can have that all during the entire game. I'm cool with that. Um, so yeah, burning through your re all your skills, you know, you could do. It's not like, you know, there's certain things you probably want to do. Like, I want to get this going. We definitely want to mark some people up. And then probably want to cripple you. And we're good. And then I'll shoot you. Again, let's do this. Where's my battle mage? I don't know, but just move that person. There we go. Let's get that going. So now we can do some extra damage. I'm doing it on you because you seem to take more damage. We'll mark you. Hopefully this kills you. Did he resist it? Oh, no matter. He's dead. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, who else can we mark? Uh, you. That's it for him. Get you out of the way. Let's get you over here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. Boom. So I could have probably saved that because it's going to take three turns. So that is kind of a strategy in itself because if you burn through all your skills up front, um, I'm assuming we'll get more later on, but um, we'll be able to fill this up. But going through them and burn them all up right off the bat. This is not a bad thing, but then you also want to keep in mind that like, this is a two-turn cooldown, four turns, three turns, so you could take some time to get some of these back. So you would be just be fighting with normal attacks. So, it, but if you can, you know, get the damage out sooner and hopefully knock some people down before they get to the go, there's nothing wrong with that. Just keep in mind the next go, you're on your own no skills uh, all right you can't move uh can we do with this can you mark you cool all right you're marked i think that's pretty much it that's all we can do except for you but you can't really do much all right what oh wow well lightning effect probably what does that do Where's my deep best? Shocked. Incoming critical strike damage increased by 8% per stack. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, do do do. Going in for the attack. Boom. We'll finish you off there. Finish you off here. Victory. Again, uh, he did buff me up, so this seems a little bit easier. That's not too bad, though. Desperate and broken, you will come to me. Just like your brother. Oh, yeah? Okay, sure. So is that, like, a sense of showing me power that he can give me? Or power that he has and kind of showing off type of thing? Logan, how could you have promised him this? If the bandits tell the Emperor our location, we won't survive. They'll all come for us. Please, Watcher, use the portal to find and stop them. Hmm. Sure thing. I can do that. I'll do that for you. Okay, all right, there we go. All right, we're into this combat here. We're gonna go ahead and finish it out. We got the two rangers in the death circle. And now we're just gonna poke them off from a distance. Um, I am running out of mana though. He's got a mana shield, but then do anything for him. Go over here and get in the front line of the combat. Go. Ha! 
What does that do again? It lowers target's physical resistance. Oh. Ha! Heat applied. Can we see the bone? Like, yeah, we can see it. Can we? Okay, what does he do? Elemental resistance reduced by 4% per stack. That's 12. Still poison. How much does that do? Damage each turn. Takes shadow damage each turn. How much, though? Alright, there we go. There we go. Shoot. I need to get him healed. Per turn now, let's just do an insta heal. Let's get you up on there too. We need I need you. Ah oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> you did it! Hail. Boom. <laughs> What's the chill do? Last two turn, half stacks of chill uh, freezes. Uh, five stacks freezes enemies. Oh, nice. We can only have chill from one source. Movement points reduced by one per stack. So, okay, so it slows them down, and we can eventually freeze them if we get down to two, uh, five stacks. That's cool. Ha! Oh, man. They got out of the circle. They're still in the circle. But you are done, sir. Maybe. Oh, okay. I was like, well, maybe next time. Maybe, maybe next round you might be. Victory is mine. Oh, we got a purple. Or blue. I mean, huh? These blade. Plus three decks. Six to seven. And then we got a green drake. Okay, so we got some stuff. We have some inventory. Guess it's hard for the Emperor to forget the assassination of his entire family. Huh. Okay. What is that? Whatever that means. Thief's Blade. Um, so we can definitely use it. Uh, we're going to lose some damage, but we're gaining dex. I mean, it's going to give us one point of damage. Plus, so I don't really mind that. What is this? Stat change if equipped it plus six to navy feathered barat. Ah, stat changes if equipped it plus six armor, plus six magic armor, plus two might, plus three to intelligence, and plus two might. Do I get all that? Is that what's happening right now? Is that what that's saying? Oh, I get all those buffs. I mean, yeah, equipped it now. Plus three might intelligence vitality. Interesting. So what's that? Oh, that's just gonna show. Okay, I got you. That's the, my current stats will change if equipped. So I'll lose two might, three vitality, three intelligence, but gain four dex. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so that'll probably be good on my archers. Mm -hmm. So we'll lose vitality and, re and recovery, but we'll gain magic armor, dex, and six armor. Equipped. I do like the fact that the armor changes. That is a bandana. Um, and this one here will get intelligence increase. Clever. I felt like we ready gave the. Oh no, we didn't. Oh, did we give him armor? No, we didn't. Okay, so she can have the. This is just a straight around bonus for her. Yeah, this is just a straight upgrade and everything. So equip that. Bloodmass tunic. What is this? Might Dex and Dodge Chance. Outlaw Co. Dex Vitality and Might. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Whipped. Nice. Woohoo. Looking good. All right. Um, and what's this one, dude? Armor Magic Dex. Still better. Lose a little bit of Might, though. That is damage, but we'll. Gain an armor, make them stronger, and then two decks. It's not the best that I want to really do with anybody. Hey, he has a plus symbol. Did he let did this person level up? Remaining stat points, 10. Yeah, they did. We get 10 points to spend right now? 
Wow. It is more armor. You lose she's gonna lose a little damage, but it is more armor. Thieves blade though. I think you're getting plus one damage, plus one. Let's see. I mean, might is it really? Who is? Uh, what is it? She's the battle mage, right? Yeah. Oh wait, there's a special twenty-five percent chance to steal status when striking. Interesting. All right, we'll we'll take it. It's a little dagger. That's a big old shield. <laughs> So this person leveled up. Yeah. Ten points to spend. Hmm. This one, who are you? Leech was the um Um the Paladin, right? Yeah. What does movement speed? Is there anything in movement speed? Nah, I guess I don't know. I feel like I feel like she, I feel like she moves very slow. All right, let's give it some more damage, and we'll get some more health. Then we do some pet and that. There's just so many points. That's just insane. I don't really need decks. Recovery would be nice. Do more damage. Um, I did have this crazy. Ten points. That's a lot. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I mean, I'm just kind of surprised. What's this? Copper vine. Click the the bean. Oh. What? Left click to swing. Pickaxe. Oh wow. <laughs> nice little mini game. Here's another statue. The party buff. Get a increase all stats by two. Uh, increases experience, items, drops, and let's do this. Since we're going into a big boss battle, it seems like. That way we get more XP, more loot, and everything else. So. Plus two stats right now, right in early game. I don't really think it's going to matter. So, I mean, it would help. Don't get me wrong, it would definitely be nice, but I think the loot and the XP will be a long-term help rather than just the instant. We suffered enough. Is this our blood mass boss? Okay, so he's the boss, so the archer is up front again. Uh, recover 10% maximum health and mana each turn. Increases armor, magic armor. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get this going. Alright, so we got pretty much all fronts going on right now. This is the boss. Now, can I do a double stack on the mark? That'd be great. Uh, I don't think so. It still says two. Chance of suffering critical strength squeeze by the damn. No, so okay. No, it doesn't double stack. Alright, well, now you know. I'm gonna shoot that person. Get out! It's crippled too. Shoot the crow, kill good, and then we'll send you just put the skeleton there. That's be good. That's perfect. Um, we'll send you straight over here. I'm liking this. This is cool. Um, and just. To battle there, boom. Now where is my battle mate? Right here. Okay, you're gonna go here. We'll send you off to this way, and hopefully we can kill all these in a timely manner and rally up and fight this dude. We will keep her where she is, but we'll buff this dude and we'll just do a little pepper spray there. Psst. All right, I think we're good. 
Might as well. Increase damage. Uh, yeah. Oh, dang. That did something. What's happening over here? Get out of here. Alright, we're just gonna just wail in on him. I really want to kill this bird as quick as possible because we need to get him in the battle. There we go. He's going to need assistance here shortly. Is that an item? Mine an... Oh, wow. Okay, I'll take that. There's items. We got to pay attention to that. I didn't really see that thing. That thing was just... Floating around, I didn't even, I didn't even know. Oh, my skeleton died. Dang, this thing is brutal. Alright, well, at least we'll heal up then. Of course, this one, this, part, this one over here is going to give me the run around. Does, he must be doing like a wide shot. Let me spread out here. Can I still move you? Yeah. I think because they're like bulked up or something that they're, they're he's hitting all of them. Oh wait, could I still? I don't know. It's too late now. Oh, I can resume it. Oh, wow. That's generous of them. Hitting in turn on a character doesn't get mean that they uh, lose their turn. You can just undo it. That's nice. Um, <laughs> that definitely did the trick, though, because... That. Oh, still in the bonuses, I think. Well, that's our perks we already got. Yeah, because he went straight um for the uh this guy right here. So I think they were just clumped up. He was just doing like a wide shot spread. And then hitting all of them. This dude's running everywhere. <laughs> I need to help kill this dude. Uh, ouch. I don't really do my... This, this guy has some health. Forgot to do the poison arrow. Ow. Ow. Dang, man. There, give you ice chill. Just heal you up. He will lose the hit, but that's all right. Oh, I should have hit that first. Poison applied. Forgot to do the poison on him. This little mage over here keeps running. Hit the dude! Kill him! That's right, I got him. I'll kill this dude. I got him! Oh. Maybe not. Oh, 
Well, now we know this guy's gone. Probably should have used my range to kill that dude. Now I gotta run him in here. Dang, how's he? Oh, wait, what's this? Oh no, what? There's something there. Oh, restores thirty percent health. Okay, it's a potion. Cool. Do that. All right. Oh. Resume. I don't really need it, but. <laughs> I gotta dodge. All right. Here, you go get health. And we can be full, full, full up. Come on, try and keep your goal. Yeah, you do that. I'm gonna do that while you fall off the map. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, we got some level ups now. Fine iron great sword. Oh, is this a two hand? Yeah, it's a two hand sword. We got a gun. Oh. Physical damage return is plus two. Special 10% chance to cast stealth on. Turn start. Four percent dodge chance. Plus two return damage. Five decks, four percent chance. So those are definitely like rangers. We got two guns though. I might swap them out to some guns. Uh plus three percent summon. Summon damage increase. We're not doing any summons on that. That was an option, but I decided not to since I went with the skeleton. But then I was thinking maybe I should have. You can make definitely like a shaman or a uh, druid class. It's definitely that thing. Um, but I didn't go with the rangers on that because I was like, well, I have the skeletons. I'm eventually going to do a whole battle or not. Yeah, uh, Dark Knight. So I was like, I don't need all these summons. But then I'm, now I'm actually kind of getting into and playing, having the two ravens. I think the first uh, one was the ravens. You can spawn in a raven. So you can have two ravens plus a skeleton kind of chilling and around doing things. Um, we're too late. An Atari Empire Emperor coverage just destroyed the last Elvish town. Oh wow! <laughs> destroy. They got in and destroyed the town, so we did not succeed at what we were supposed to do, and we are going back. Our location is compromised. The Sultan prepare his forces in the west. In town, there are various shops you can visit. Spend your gold at when your party is ready. Activate the portal for a new quest. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, something must have been... Off about that. Okay, now I'm at five. These all got five, too. Whereas this person got 10 right off the bat. I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen at all now that I think about it. Um, makes sense now. I'm like, wait, why am I getting 10? That just seems like it's way too much. Did I get a mallet? He, yeah, two handed mace. Mm, the bows are better. But these are good for the summoning. What's this one? Shadow kill skill damage increase. Shadow skill damage is increased. So would that affect my poison damage? Shadow skill damage increase. Plus one dex. I don't know. I'll lose damage. I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, I think we're just going to sell everything. Because I don't really want to use all this. Not sure what this is. Skills though, we got some skills. Uh we got one point. In the shadow. Let me send additional damage to enemies below 50%. That's what we're doing there. Um, so we can do a haunt, shadow damage to the target every turn for three turns. Deals. 9 to 12 shadow damage to the target every turn for 3 turns. Caster heals for 100% of the damage caused. Oh, wow. 
Spectral Chains applies one for one turn. Can't move. Trouble Mine applies three sacks of poison to the target. Uh, the thing is, your poison this poison stack. I do like this haunt though. We're going with that because then that's going to keep the survivability up. All right. Um, for you, the ranger, right here, see, boom, summon raven. So we can do a pinning shot or a bleeding shot. Deal 7 to 10 weapon damage, applies 2 stacks of bleeding. Um, rally, increase movement of allies, relocate, we can do that. Okay, Stark, we can do Stark, Stalker's Mark or Bounty Hunter. Gain 15% increased damage, 8% critical hit chance against the target. Or we can do 20% increased damage and 10% critical hit chance against the target. The target dies while Striker's Mark is active. The cooldown is reset. Against the target, the target di dies within the Bounty Hunter's Mark is active. All cooldowns are reduced by one. What? Huh. If the target dies while Stalker's Mark is active, the cooldown is reset. That seems like a way better deal. Like, this one is... All all cooldowns are reduced by one. I mean that's not bad. That reduces all mm, I guess it's pick and choose, but this one you can just spam Hunter's Mark. Bleeding shot does sound nice. We'll do the Hunter's Mark. Oh. Same thing here. I want them to kind of be equivalent. These are kind of just basically the ones that are gonna do, like, the like the stacking damage and helping with the other party members to do the damage, and they're just gonna shoot from a distance. So I kind of want to build them one and one together. Call them the twins. And then this one, Bruce was the healer. Uh, 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 bless all allies within five hexes increases damage, minimum health, and maximum mana by 10%. Duration is three turns. Yeah, let's get that. Uh, this is the battle mage. What we got here? Frost Nova. Caster creates a wave of frozen energy dealing 15 to 21 full damage within two hexes of the selected target. Ice lands. The caster hurls a razor-like shard of ice-piercing foes in a line dealing 18 to 25 damage. Ooh, that's a line. Frost armor helps the caster and frost granting 50% cold resistance and 10% physical resistance. Attackers take 2 3 cold damage. Deep freeze and intense frost certain circles your foe, applying 5 stacks of chills on the target. So that just freezes. Cooldown of 3. Cool down to four, cool down to three, cool down to three. Um, hmm. Your stacks of chill now reduce the target's damage by 2%. Oh. Physical Frostborn increases cold resistance. The first time you deal damage in battle, it is increased by 100%. Wow. Oh, man. There's some good choices here. I like it though. I like the build. I like the fact that there is some good choices here that you have to actually decide on what what do you want to build. And it's kind of in the sense of that you're not going to sit here and say, "Oh, well, this is obvious better than that, so I'm going to go with that route." Right? It's more like, "Okay, what do you want to do right now?" Um, because each and every one of these don't seem like a bad idea. Like he freezes the ground on the target area. Enemy movement requires double movement points over frozen ground. So it does kind of would help, you know, even though like I'm what I'm doing with the archers, I'm kind of building one to one to kind of, you know, have two of the same archers doing the kind of same thing. It's not a bad idea to even have two like frost mages and one of them, you know, goes down one path. The other one goes down another path. Um, you can mix and match even just a straight frost mage. Um, <clears throat> now I don't know how many points we'll get in the um level up here and like how many we can spend but eventually i think we'll cap out where we can only get so much because i can't level these up even further right no no once you have it you have it okay um i'm trying to check what to do do i do a frost nova this is 
two hexes, just 15, 21 damage to everyone around you. I'm thinking that's probably the way I'm going to go. Frost armor is not bad too either, because then it does two to three cold damage and makes 10% you know, more tough. I think I'm going to go this. That way, if, they, if she gets surrounded, they will... Uh... Alright, two, 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 and one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Alright, this is the archers, right? Yeah, so I did give them a lot of might because it's going to help them with the damage. I'm going to do recovery. Because it increases the crit damage and crit chance. Battle Mage, of course. Um, we want to do one of one, and then there. Not too worried about the might. And Bruce is the healer. This is the Battle Mage. Which kind of, you know, it's going to be pretty interesting. We're going to kind of need a little bit of everything um, in this. So she doesn't have a lot of, really a lot of skills right now to where I need a lot of mana, to be honest. But she does the healing. I think I'm just going to go with more health. And then what are you? I can't remember. That's the battle maze. This is the healer. Oh, wait, yeah, that was the battle maze. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, the battle. That's fine. Okay, that's the battle maze. I, I should have put a little bit more intelligent. I forgot she has. I, I get them mixed up. Um, I gotta make sure I know who's who. Um, okay, this is the battle maze with all the frost skills. Um, so. I uh, should have more mana. Or. Should swap these. Should give them a little bit more intelligence. That's all right. She's gonna be up in front, anyways. Uh, this is the one I was thinking that's gonna need a little bit more health and do a little bit of damage, and we want a little bit of dex. There we go. Cool. And now we can possibly sell some junk. We can sell all our good stuff. Can we just go through here and sell everything? I'm gonna hold on to those because I don't know what they're used for. I got 600 gold now. A sword and does two decks, three fire, 30% fire, fire damage. A gun. Now we, oh, we yeah, we expensive. Okay, so money is. These things are costly. Uh, I don't see much being a. Oh, is that gonna just do what's selected? Whoever selected, yeah. So the noble's vest I could get plus two my intelligence and recovery and six percent chance to dodge would probably be pretty good on this one. No, nope. already has. Um, she might be able to use it. Some might. Room for thought the navy helm. That was not too bad. 39 armor, 60, plus 68 magic armor, plus one vitality, and plus recovery. Uh, yeah, no, that's not gonna work for you. Lobo, that, Bruce, now, let's see, how about you? This is pretty much the, what are you looking at? A helmet, right? Yeah, so. It's gonna get plus two vitality, plus two recovery, so it's gonna give you more health. Sure. This one is gonna be nice. Um, no negatives. Either way, I'm buying it. What's your sword? 9 to 12 straight sword. Wait, you're not using a sword? Why is that not coming up? I don't have enough for it anyway. Alright, we're broke. We bought one item. Oh no. No, no, no! We don't want to switch up the party. How do I, how do I leave? Oh. Okay, cool. So we can change our party up. That's nice. 
select the skills and skills themselves um one point remaining um yeah because oh yeah that's right i gave her a bunch of passives to start out with uh not the protection regenerate cure Um, what do I want to do? I do need to get some of these, so I'm going to kind of go down this path, but I don't know what to get. I'm thinking this, protection. Cool. And there's our quest. Nice. And then we can change the difficulty all the way up to level four. Cool. All right. Nice. That's it. That's going to be the stolen realm. This is actually pretty cool. I'm liking this a lot. It's a nice little turn base, uh, tactical game, you know, with some, you know, action RPG elements, a little sprinkled in here and there. The loot system's pretty generous. You get a lot, you know, the money, the items. You're going to basically kind of gear out, building an ultimate party and going through these missions and trying to gear up, be awesome, be cool do things <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna call it here so if you enjoyed the video please let me know down in the comments let me know if you liked it if you didn't like it if it's something that you saw and missed want to point it out any feedback anything in that nature it doesn't matter if you, even if you want to just say hi just say hello but uh yeah i'm also over at on twitch as well at ebag01 so if you want to stop on over there, hang out with me live. I'm live on Tuesday, or Mondays and Wednesdays at 7.30 Central Time. Just mainly just chilling, playing some games like this, and you know, builders, uh, city builders, survivals, pretty much you name it. I'm a variety streamer, so stop on by and say hi as well. I would love to have you. So anyways, that's going to be that. I will talk to you all later. Peace out.